So yo what's up guys, my name's Bear the Boss, or Bear, whatever you're going to call me, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a little farming method I found really really early on in Neo to be able to get loads of elixirs and Amrita. Now this is going to help because with having a lot of elixirs you'll be able to hold more than what you usually can, which can really help especially in boss fights, and as for the Amrita you'll be able to level up a lot, you know, to increase your character stats in general. Now when I say early, I mean early because the place we're going to be doing this is the second mission in the game known as Isle of Demons. The fact it's early is really going to help you become stronger for the first couple of bosses which can honestly be a pain to take down. Now the great thing about this as well is that as you progress through the game you can always come back to this mission and this farming spot and get more elixirs and Amrita to level up and you know have more healing items for them later bosses. Now the spot we're going to be doing this is near the end of the level so you're just going to want to make your way through the level killing any enemies you can because you know that's going to help towards what we're going to farm as well. Now you will know when you're at the spot because you will get to this shrine here with a locked door on your right. Now before we start farming you're going to want to make sure you change your Kodama blessing to suit the thing you want to farm the most. Now if you want to farm elixirs the most I'd go with healer blessing as it increases elixir drop rate. If you want to farm Amrita more I would go with oracle blessing as it increases Amrita gains. Now you can change this to see whatever you want because there's like you know more weapon drops, more armor drops. So whichever you feel like farming you can change to whichever one you want. And you can also change this whenever you feel so if you want to farm elixirs for a little bit and then you want to farm Amrita you can change it. Now you're also going to want to check to see if you have any gear that increases drop rate of items because this is going to further increase your chance of elixirs dropping. You know the more percentage you have the more chance you've got of them dropping items more chance of it being an elixir. Now once you've done these things we're ready to start farming. So to start you're going to want to make your way to the left of the shrine and follow the path all the way around until you get to the ship on the beach killing all the enemies on your way because these enemies are going to be the sources for the elixirs and Amrita. Now when you get to the beach where the boat is, instead of going to the boat like the mission states, go up the hill on your right and open the door back to the shrine. This will open up access to both areas from there. When you get there you're going to want to pray at the shrine. Doing this will respawn all the enemies we've just killed so they're killable again to farm. As you see if you don't visit the shrine the enemies will just simply not spawn. At this point you're just going to want to complete the same path you did before the door to the right of the shrine was open, killing all enemies on your way and repeat the cycle over and over while still praying at the shrine each time to respawn the enemies. And you just do this until you get as many elixirs and as many emery as you want. And it's literally as simple as that. Now, I know, you know, seeing this might seem like it could get boring. And to be honest, after a while, it will. You know, you're doing the same circle, you're killing the same enemies, it will get boring. But, to be honest, it doesn't take that long. Especially if you only want, you know, uh, if you only want to farm a little bit. If you want to go all out, you know, it's going to take a while. But, if you only want to farm a little bit, it, you know, it doesn't take long. As you can see, after about four cycles, I had nearly 30 elixirs. And that's not including the ones I had on my character. And to be honest, it really helps in defeating bosses and powering up your character in general. As you're getting them read, you're, you know, you're naturally going to be able to level up and it, it just helps with bosses. The awesome thing about this farming spot is as well as farming elixirs and Amrita, you will naturally pick up a bunch of different items. Which can be used for a variety of things. So, some will be status effect healing, some will be for forging. It really depends on what item there's a bunch. You're also going to pick up a shit ton of weapons and armour, which... For one could be better than the gear you have, but if it's not, you could also sell it to the blacksmith for gold. Or get her to dismantle it for forging items. Another thing is the little graves where you can fight other players like ghosts. They spawn constantly as you're running around, which can, you know, you can also kill to attain gear from them. But you can also farm Ochoco Cups which can be used to allow other players to join your game, which can be really helpful again in tough boss fights. And yeah guys, that about sums it up for the farming guide. 
I just stumbled upon this while getting my ass absolutely handed to me by the second boss. And I realised that, you know what, I need to level up. So I started killing enemies and just kind of figured this out. So, yeah, I thought I'd share this because considering how early it is in the game and how useful it is, I thought it would really help people out, especially if they're getting stuck early game. So, yeah, guys, I really hope this helped you out. If it did, I would really appreciate if you could drop a thumbs up. I honestly would be really grateful and it would really help me out. So, yeah, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.